It is a topic that has sparked outrage and protests across the country when police use deadly force. Right now you're looking at some recent videos of deadly encounters right here in Las Vegas and tonight Metro talking about the changes that they have made. 13 Action News anchor Masa Saidi right now is live at Metro headquarters and Masa Metro police are certainly no stranger to controversial shootings. Yeah, that's right, Todd. 2010 was a bad year for Metro, so much so the DOJ recommended they make some changes. Well, some now say what Metro is doing can be a model for other police agencies across the country. I've been an officer for 22 years, and every one of us raises our hand and takes an oath to save lives. But in an instant, an officer can be tested. Hey, back up! He's shooting! Video shows the moments Metro says police had to open fire this month. One suspect dead. Captain Kelly McMahill says in general, scenes like this are much less common now than in 2010, a year she calls ugly for the department. We used deadly force 25 times, and about half of those shootings, although they did not amount to criminal activity, they were unnecessary. Soon after, Metro partnered up with the DOJ. Big changes then coming to their use of deadly force policy. Instead of rushing in, for example, rushing in through a door with very little information, Take time when you can. Even in a situation where we have to use force, we can still put the sanctity of life first. It starts with a focus on the sanctity of life. Officers also getting 100 hours of de-escalation training. Police seeing real results. By 2016, Metro says, deadly force was used only 10 times. Christine Cole reviewed the department's initial changes for the DOJ. They focus deeply on the content of incidents, and then when they find things that didn't go perfectly well, they address policy. We're never done because we are a learning organization, and we critique, heavily critique and criticize um, every single use of force that we have. And the talk was held at the Mob Museum. The captain says since these new changes were made, they saw a steady decrease in the use of deadly force. But something strange happened last year. They saw that number spike again to 22. But every single one of those incidents, as you heard her say, is reviewed heavily. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. All right, Masa, thank you.